Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. This is the Procon Geek and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the different grades of concrete used in civil and structural engineering. Now, the main reason why I decided to make this video is I have a new series on the basics of detailing reinforced concrete slabs coming up soon and in one of the videos, we're going to be looking at the grades of concrete normally applicable to slabs. But don't worry, even if this is your first time coming to my channel, I'm going to be taking you through the very basics of the different grades of concrete that are there in the industry so that by the end of this video, you'll be able to understand what C28-35 means, what M25 and C25 stand for exactly without even watching any of my previous videos. So without wasting too much time, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, what exactly is meant by the grade of concrete? Well, you don't have to worry. This is just a quality control term used to denote the minimum strength the concrete should have following 28 days after it is mixed, cast, and then cured. And what you need to know is that this is dependent on the composition of the concrete. And what I mean by this is just that the strength of your concrete is going to be governed by the ratio of cement to sand to aggregates and water that you will use to make concrete. Now, I think most of you know this, but if you turn it, I use SI units. So therefore, the strength we are referring to will be measured in megapascals, which is for some of you equivalent to one newton per square meter. Meter. So, to help you understand, if you hear someone say they want grade 10 concrete for a project or structural member, it could be a column or a slab, what it just means is that the concrete should have a minimum compressive strength of 10 megapascals after 28 days. And if they want grade 15, they're just looking for 15 megapascals, grade 20 refers to 20 megapascals, and grade 25 means 25, etc, etc, 30, 40, 50, the list goes on. On. Now that we know what each grade means, the tricky part is that no one actually writes or says to you directly, yo, I want grade 25 concrete with a compressive strength of 25 MPA or even 3625 pounds per square inch on the engineer's instructions or quality control notes. Instead, what you will find written is just that we want quality control C25, M25 or C25 slash 30 and then this is when some of you may start to get confused as to what grade you are being asked to produce exactly. But don't worry, this is exactly where I come in to help you understand this much better. But for you to understand this, you first need to know about the compressive strength or the compressive test of concrete. And what you need to understand is that it can be done or it is carried out in one of two ways. Method 1 involves a 15 cm by 15 cm by 15 cm concrete cube cast from the proposed mixture you intend to use for a project. So basically what they would do is that they would just crush this cube and note the strength needed to break this cube. For a detailed description of this test, I've left a link in the description to some materials that might help you much further. Now, method 2 is done using a cylindrical mold that will produce a concrete cylinder of diameter 15 cm and a height of 30 cm and they will proceed to crush this sample. For a detailed description of this test, please check the link in the description below. Okay, okay, I know, I'm telling you to visit the links in the description for more information, but the reason is, for this video, you only need to understand that one test is done using a cube and the other is done using a cylinder. And because of this, the strength required when you're using a cube and when you're using a cylinder after 28 days are going to be different. And it is the reason why we have C25 and M25 and we also have C25 and slash 30. So to better explain the first two terms C25 and M25, 
this is how it goes c25 is for cylindrical sample test i.e what i mean is this just means the quality control is going to be done using a cylindrical sample and after 28 days the minimum compressive strength must be 25 mpa and when you have m25 it just means the quality control is going to be done using cubical samples and the test after 28 days should yield a strength of 25 mpa but now in third we have c35 c25 i mean slash 30. what on earth does this mean okay okay relax i got you man but first Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and once you are done, please leave a thumbs up as well, a comment and also remember to turn on the notifications bell for more informative content. Anyways, back to the content. Now we're looking at C25, C30. What does that mean? In other words, C25 slash 30, what exactly are they trying to say? Because one thing you need to understand is that a lot of people are used to seeing M20, M25, M30 because their country uses cubes and then other people are used to seeing C10, C15 and C30 because their country uses cylinders. But well, here is the thing. The notation that says C, then you have a first number slash second number is more of a universal code. It's meant to cater for you regardless of what shape of samples you use because the C just means concrete class or grade. Then the first number is for the strength that is required if you're going to be using cylindrical samples and then the second number refers to the strength that is required if you're going to be using cubical samples so in other words grade 25 when using cylindrical samples is equivalent to grade 30 when using cubical samples that's why it's c25 slash 30. so as you see it's important for you to know what exactly is being asked of you before you just cast your concrete because if you just rush to make grade 25 concrete using a mix that works when you're using cubic samples and when you go to a region that uses cylindrical samples for their quality control, I'm sorry to say this, but you will have made a huge and produced effectively grade 20 for that region, not 25 as you thought initially. Anyways, concrete mixes are a topic for another day, so please leave some likes on this video and I'll bring you a video on concrete mixes. Now, for you to better understand all these different grades, I've left another link in the description with a table that shows you the different meaning of each code and the respective strength if it's a cylindrical sample or a cubical sample that is used for the quality control. Anyways, that's it from me today. I've just made you the wiser when it comes to reading your quality control notes. Next time, you don't have to be confused as to what is exactly being said when someone says C25 slash 30. So thank you very much for watching my video, hopefully to the very end without downloading it to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, until next time, stay safe and don't freeze. And remember, it's always Wakanda forever.